Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Planet Alyssa here with this week's What I Sold on Etsy video. Um, I do have to apologize. I was going to make another video this week. I was going to make a haul follow-up video and um, I just never got around to it. I've been busy with Etsy stuff and Amazon stuff and occasionally playing outside too. Went out to a, uh, a barn sale, yard sale, whatever you want to call it uh, this morning. It was kind of a... I I've been to this one before. She had it um, in the fall and uh, you know, when I saw the address, I'm like, oh, I think I know which one this is, and it, it was the same one, but um, she had some decent stuff in the fall. Not so much now. I bought one item, spent a whole one dollar, and it's not very exciting. It's like uh, something I'll sell for 15 bucks or so on Amazon. I'm going to go out to an estate auction tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, and uh, hopefully I'll find some cool stuff there. Um, and maybe I'll show it to you if I do find some stuff. But anyway, uh, this has been a decent week on Etsy. I did not meet my sales goal of $200 in sales this week, um, but I did all right. Um, nothing I sold this week was that pricey, but I did sell a bunch of items. I sold 13 items this week for a total of $148. And I'll show you each of the things that sold and how much they sold for. Oh, and this week was kind of a, a busy week for international sales. I guess I had a few last week too. I had. Uh, four of my 13 sales this week were international orders. The first item that sold this week is this uh, recipe card box, index card box. It sold for $10. It's something I think I picked up at a thrift store. This is a golden wedding anniversary book, uh, like scrapbook, memory book type thing. It sold for $15. It's an unused vintage book and I picked this up at a thrift store as well. This is a very old, very worn edition of Peter Rabbit. It sold for $10, and this book is something I picked up at an auction. Um, when I was researching this book, I was curious because it didn't have the original Beatrix Potter illustrations in it. Um, and this was actually an unauthorized edition that was printed, um, it was an American edition um, before, I guess, the original Beatrix Potter books came out here. So they got this one into print and uh, not quite legally. And this is a vintage paper doll set. It sold for $12. It's something I picked up uh, not too long ago at an auction. An auction where all I did buy was paper dolls. And this was one of those international orders that I had this week. Sold this set of four books for $20. They're children's hardcover books uh, from that same series. I think there's something like the, the Junior Literary Guild or something like that. When I do sell book lots like this, I do offer the option to have the item ship media mail. I just make that a note in my description. And so if a buyer is interested in saving money and they don't need the books in a hurry and they're in the United States, um, I can ship it media mail for a lot less. And so this was a buyer who contacted me and said they'd want to do the media mail option, which was like $5 versus I think maybe like $12 uh, to ship them priority mail. So I did that for her. This is a vintage uh, light switch cover, switch plate cover. Uh, it sold for $5, and I don't remember where I picked this up. I'm thinking it came from a rummage sale. This is a set of plastic coasters that sold for $10. Um, again, this is another item I can't quite remember where I picked it up. These have a uh, bicentennial theme there. You can see with the 76 and the Liberty Bell printed in the center. And this is a uh, cool little bell that I sold for $6. It's something I picked up at an auction, and um, it's nothing too special. I kind of liked it because it was black, and you know, don't see that too often. You see a lot of ceramic bells, but uh, black ones seem kind of uncommon. Here's another one of my international orders. This is a vintage ledger book, which sold for $15, and it's something I picked up at a rummage sale. This glass uh, chicken in a basket dish, it's a two-piece dish, sold for $15. Um, I know I picked this up not too long ago. I can't remember where I picked it up. I'm thinking it was a rummage sale. I've gotten a, a couple of these recently, so I'm not quite sure, but I think this one came from a rummage sale. This is a new old stock set of book plates with a pretty iris illustration on it. They sold for $5, and this is another one of those international orders. So um, this is one where they paid more in shipping than they paid for the item. This is a vintage tin with a pretty and colorful uh, butterfly design on it. Uh, it's a hinged tin, so a um, nice little storage box. 
It sold for $10 and it's something I picked up at a rummage sale kind of a while ago, I, I want to say over a year ago. And this is a pair of vintage uh, 1980s sunglasses. I sold these for $15. I actually had them listed at, at $20 and someone asked if I would accept $15 for them and I did. Um, this is my final order of the week and it was also another one of those international orders. And I picked these up not too long ago at a thrift store. So that's everything that sold this week. Yeah, like I said, look for that haul follow-up video. Maybe a haul video uh, from the auction if I buy a decent amount of stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon. Anyway, happy selling everyone!